Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to our YouTube channel Sanjay Vasadoi. This is Meghna Madan and today we will be covering our class 5 chapter number 10 of science that is machines we use. But before starting my video, I request you all to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for further notification and do not forget to like and share my video if you like it. So students, as our chapter number 10 is machines we use but students have you ever thought of why do we need machines we need machines to make our work easier by reducing the force and energy to get the work done but before taking some of the examples of simple machines we will study about force work and energy so what is force a force is a pull or a push acting on an object is called a Force. Now what is work? A work is done when a force is applied to an object over some distance. For example, some of the examples of the work are if you move a table, throwing a basketball, picking a book from a shelf. All these are examples of work. So students, now let's take some of the types of forces. So, starting with the first force, that is frictional force. So, when the two objects rub against each other, this is a force that prevents them to slide smoothly. And this is called the frictional force. Now, coming to the second force is the muscular force. When uh, the force is exerted by the muscles of our body, is called the muscles muscle force or we say is at as muscular force now the third force is the gravitational force or gravity force gravitational force is that force which pulls the object towards the center of the earth or down to the earth this is known as the gravity force or gravitational force now coming to the fourth type of force that is magnetic force when the magnets pull some metal object towards it. This force is, we call it as the magnetic force. Now students, I hope you all have standard about force. Now comes to energy. So students, what is energy? Energy is the ability or the capacity of a body to do work. As you know students, that to do any type of work, we need some energy. But do you know from where you get this energy? We get this energy from the food that we eat. So students, I hope you all have understood about force, work and energy now. Now let's move to machines. A machine is a tool that is used to make our work easy. There are two types of machines. A simple machine and a complex machine. Simple machine are the simple tools with few parts and it is used to change the direction or move amount of the force applied to do a work and some of the examples of lever some of the examples are lever pulley inclined plane etc and complex machine is a machine that is made up of two or more simple machines when they are combined together for example your bicycle your nail clippers cranes etc. Now students we will study about some of the simple machines. So the first simple machine in our list is the lever. What is lever? A lever is a rod that rests on a support called a fulcrum which moves the load. A lever has three parts a fulcrum, effort and load. A fulcrum is a support on which the rod moves. Effort is that part of the rod on which the force is applied. And the, law and the load is a part of work that has to be done. For example, as you are seeing in this picture, this rod is acting as a lever. This small stone which is fixed is called a fulcrum. And the force applied on a part of a rod is called effort and a big stone that has to be moved is called a load. 
now depending upon the position of fulcrum effort and load the levers are of three types now the first class lever is of the first type in this class of lever the effort in uh, in in this class uh, of lever the fulcrum is in the between the effort and the load and your scissor seesaw hammer are some of the examples of first class levers now the second class lever in this class of lever the load is in between the effort and the fulcrum your bottle opener nut cracker and wheelbarrow are some of the examples of second class lever and this type of levers are used to increase the force now the second now the third class lever in this class of lever the effort is be, is between the fulcrum and the load your tweezers your tweezers tongs fishing rods are some of the examples of third class levers and this type of levers are used to decrease the effort these tweezers are used by doctors in delicate operations now moving to the second example of our simple machine that is the pulley now a pulley is a simple machine made up of a rope or a chain that is wrapped around a wheel the wheels edges have a grooves in uh, on it and the rope is to be moved around those grooves of the wheel and this pulley is mostly used to draw water from the well or to hoist the flag on a flag pole or to lift heavy engines now coming to our next example of simple machine is the wheel and axle axle is a simple machine that consists of a rod attached to it a wheel is not a simple machine until a axle is attached to it the wheel and axle are mostly used in all the machines and in the vehicles now this uh, giant wheel or your or your screw driver is the example of a wheel and axle so students now we will come to our third simple machine that is the inclined plane an inclined plane is a flat surface with one end higher than the other as you are seeing in this picture it is used to raise a body which is heavy with less effort and it does not reduce the amount of work but it makes the work easier for us as in the hospitals ramps are used for carrying the patients the roads of the hills are some of the examples of inclined planes i hope is it okay students now we will move to our fourth simple machine that is the screw a screw is a type of a inclined plane which is wrapped around a rod and it is mostly used to hold the things together as you have already seen this uh, screws at your home that are used to join uh, the things like wood your metal items all are used to join the join together the things now students coming to our fifth simple machine that is the wedge a wedge is a uh, type of a wedge is a simple machine that has two inclined planes that are joined together back to back it uh, in a form of v and it has a sharp edge on one end and a blunt on the other side as you are seeing in this picture a knife is a example of a wedge so it is mostly used to split the things 
apart. So students, I hope now you all have understood about the simple machines, complex machines and some of the simple machines that are used by us in our daily life. Students, now let us study about how the machines help us. The machine help us to do our work easily and with less effort. Machine help us to do our work in less time. And machines makes our life, in this way, the machine makes our life easy and comfortable. So, now let us study some of the safety habits that, should you, that you should keep in mind while using the machines. The first thing that you should keep in mind is, do not go near the places where heavy loads are being lifted by police as it can fall on us and can harm us. The machines should be well lubricated. Or we say it should be well oiled. The sharp edges of the knife, scissor, axes are dangerous and so that we should handle them with care. All these sharp objects should be kept away from our body and should always be handled uh, with their handles. And these sharp pointed tools like your scissors, knives must, already, must always be stored in a toolbox. Now I hope you all have understood about machines, the types of simple machines, what are uh, the some of the safety habits while using simple machines and how do machines help us. Now it's the time for activity. Your first activity is the match the following. As you are seeing in this, your left hand side are some of the examples of simple machines and on the right hand side they are some of the simple machines. Now the first is knife. As you know, knife is used to split the things apart. So it is an example of wedge. Now the second is the roller skates as it has wheels. So it is an example of wheel and axle. Now the third is the bottom of a light bulb. If you have ever seen, it looks like a screw. So it is an example of a screw. Now the fourth is the ramp which is uh, higher from the one end and lower from the another end. So it is an example of the inclined plane. Now fifth is the seesaw. As you have uh, understood about lever. So this is the class type 1. Example of the class type 1 lever. Now the sixth is the unrolling of a flag. Or we say the hosting of a flag. It is an example of pulley. So let's start with our second activity that is the fill in the blanks. The first fill up is dash is the ability of a body to do a work. We have studied that energy is the ability of a body to do a work. Now the second fill up is dash is used to draw water from the well. Which simple machine is used to draw water from the well? We have studied that that pulley is used to draw water from the well. Now the third fill up is a wedge has dash inclined planes. The wedge has how many inclined planes? It has two inclined planes that is joined back to back in the form of V. Now the fourth fill up is the force exerted by muscles of our body is called dash force. Which type of force uh, is uh, called when the muscles of our body are used? It's called the muscular force. Now the fifth fill up is the lever is a rod that rests on a support called a rod like lever is uh, fixed on a, a point that we call a fulcrum. So students I hope now you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.